Dear Tracer Beast, kill yourself, try hard, and get your own banshee. Well, fuck you too, asshole. So, I'm gonna do my own version of mean tweets, except I get to actually react to your dumbass message. Uh, so, the first part of this video, what I'm showing you is a little bit of gameplay um, from, you know, yesterday. So, I played with this guy, and um, I was playing against his team, and I killed him, and I took his banshee, because, you know, I don't have a whole lot of money to spend on COD points, so, you know, I use these when I can. And, uh, you know, I wrecked him with it, and he got all angry and sent me a message. Now, you know, being a pub stomper, you know, having games where I'm going, you know, 50 kills plus in team deathmatch, I get these kind of messages all the time. No worries, I really don't care about it, but the thing is, is this guy decided to stay in the lobby, so this is just what happened. Um, but what we're going to be focusing on today is the patch 1.14, um patch notes that just came out today I'm about to put them up on the screen so so here are the specialist changes on 1.14 um, and I'll just go ahead and start saying that you know I'm not gonna get into zombies or cod casting or general bug fixes or anything like that today I'm only gonna be going over anything that was relevant in multiplayer like specialists or weapons so um, there were two specialists that were directly impacted by 1.14 um, one was a buff, one was a nerf, um, so we'll go ahead and start with the buff, because it's always good to hear good news. Uh, so, anyways, uh, the Outrider got got a buff today. They recently got a buff on Sparrow. Um, I, I can't remember if it was the last patch, the one before that, but they, they had two extra arrows added and a decreased uh, draw time. So, you know, it, it made it feel better from the last patch, and this one just makes it feel even better than that. Um, it's got an increased speed to maximum arrow charge, which means you get to charge, like, maximum charge where you're holding it faster, and an increased rapid fire rate, so you can fire a little bit faster. It just feels better, it feels less clunky, so um, definitely this is going in the right direction for the Sparrow. Uh, the Prophet, um, he got a nerf. Uh, the Tempest had a reduced beam size, which means that basically the width of the beam is not going to hit enemies as easily. So here's where shit gets interesting. So just pause this, take a look. Um, so what you'll notice is all non-DLC weapons except for the Vesper got a nerf, and all DLC weapons included in the patch got a buff. Smells like bullshit, so I'm going to call it bullshit. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, but we'll go over each weapon. So the CUDA got a reduced 3 hit kill damage range and a reduced 5 hit kill damage range. Now, um, you experienced CUDA players, don't worry too much. It's not that big. Um, those ranges were kind of extreme anyways. So, you know, you should be in the 4 hit kill damage range with the CUDA at all times anyways if you're an experienced player. So, you know, it's not going to affect you too much if you're experienced with the CUDA. Uh, the VMP got reduced recoil stability. I will say there is more at diagonal kick with this one. Um, so you can feel it. Um, it's not going to keep you from playing with the VMP. But, you know, it just keep in mind that it does have more recoil and you're going to have a harder time fighting it. Uh, the Vesper got increased recoil stability. Now, don't go rushing back to the Vesper. It's still a complete piece of shit. So, you know, don't think this is going to fix it or anything because they didn't do it. It's still pretty bad. Um, the Man of War got reduced reload speed and reduced aim down sight speed. So, it got a nerf. And this one is, you know, it's pretty substantial. So, you know, you're going to have a harder time, you know, setting back up after you use the Man of War. Um, the black market weapons, we've got the HG-40, which got an increased 3 heal kill, kill damage range. This one's pretty noticeable, but the thing is the HG-40 is, you know, kind of shit anyways. So it needed an increase to that damage range with the slow fire rate. Um, don't have the MX Garand or the FFAR, but the Garand got increased reload speed, increased recoil stability, and increased hip fire accuracy. And the FFAR got increased recoil stability, increased hip fire accuracy, and increased aim down sight speed. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Um, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Alright, till next time.